Autumn is my favorite season and it's the perfect time to make my original miniature clay mushrooms. Three designs that we're highlighting today are called acorn mushroom, pumpkin mushroom, and basket of hearts mushroom. But there are more. A small note, despite the little mushroom army you'll see me making, my clay designs are not mass produced. What you see in this frame are the only mushrooms that will be in my next shop update. I spend a lot of time tailoring each one, so they are extremely limited and unique. I usually put only one or at most two of each design up for adoption in my small shop, and that's why they sell out fast. I recommend keeping tabs on my launch dates if you're ever interested in adopting one too. Here I'm making a tiny acorn with a light brown ball of clay, and I pinch out one end of the ball. Then with darker brown clay, I make an acorn cap that will fit on the non-pointy end of the acorn. I'm adding some crosshatch lines on top of the cap for texture. After baking the clay in the oven, we're finishing the shiitake mushroom cap with paint. For the first time, I'm trying a different texture by carefully adding faux moss. I quite like this addition. Now onto our tiny pumpkin. We're rolling orange clay into an oblong shape and carving lines all around the sides. With dark brown clay, I'm adding a tiny stem and a curly flyaway for character. I'm making a tiny basket by gradually poking a larger and larger opening in a small ball of clay. Then I'm adding a basket handle. When I realized how tiny this basket was, I thought, oh goodness, whatever's inside has to be even tinier. But I'm up for the challenge. For my red capped mushrooms, I want to paint a gradient. So here I'm preparing various shades of red. Then I'm painting white circles for that classic mushroom look. And of course, can't forget the moss. What do you think of these autumn themed mushroom friends? For the first time, I designed washi tapes, and this is a sneak peek of my mushroom design. I'm so excited to share these and more in my next shop update. I hope you enjoyed seeing these autumn themed mushrooms come to life. To continue the fall theme, next time I'll be back with miniature clay ghosts. Until then, I can't wait to see what you create. Till next time. You know, this background is not our usual place. I'm visiting some family, so that's why the background looks different. The background noises might be different too.